So this is the PHP script that establish a connection to the database. Now we need to create another PHP script that perform the image upload. So here I'm going to create a new PHP script. Specify the file name as upload.php. So here also first we have to establish a connection to the database. So we already create a PHP script that contain the statements to establish a connection to the database. So here we can simply include that PHP script into this. So we can use this keyword require and specify that file name init.php. So this will establish a connection to the database. So first we have to check the connection success or not. If connection succeed, in that case, we can perform the image upload. So first, we have to get the image title and image from the Android application. So create some variable title. Now here we use the post request. Get the image title from the Android application. Now get the image from the Android application. So here we get title and image from the Android application. Now specify a variable that specify the upload path. Specify the upload path. Here we are going to upload the image into this folder uploads. Now specify the file name. Use the title variable and specify the file extension here it is jpg now create the sql query to insert data to the table insert into image info specify the column names title and path now specify the values, specify the first column values, it is title, now the second column value, it is image path, it is available on this variable called upload path. Now we need to execute this SQL. Call a function called mysql like query. For this function you need to pass two parameters first one is a connection variable and second one is the sql query if this sql query execution succeed in that case we can perform the file upload so here we can call a function called file put contents first parameter is the upload path second parameter is the image so here the image is in an encoded format. So first we need to decode it. First decode the image. So this statement perform the image upload to the uploaded path. Now we can send the response to the android application here the response is a json object so json encode here the json object has one property it is a response now specify the value image uploaded successfully If the database insertion failed, in that case, we can send another response to the Android application. Image upload failed. And finally, we can close the connection to the database. 
so we can call the function mysql like clause and pass the connection variable so this is the php script that performed the image upload so here first establish connection to the database if connection succeed we get title and image from the android application and this variable specify the upload path here is the sql query to update the database here we execute the sql query if the sql query executed successfully we perform the image upload using this function file put contents if the sql query is succeed we send a response back to the android application otherwise we send another response to the android application and finally we close the connection to the sql database so now we finish the server side now we can start with the android application development 